Recording in progress. Hi, welcome to my video. I'm Jennifer Roberts, and this is True Design Talk 4. And thank you for being here. I really do appreciate you doing so. So, uh, this is a uh, writing on the wall, just as far as this is for my uh, online diary, I suppose, with all of you. And uh, for knowing revisions, remote viewing, uh, psychic shenanigans, all of those things in a book, just my writing on my wall. And uh, I want to I wanna talk about the fact that um, data, 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 data. Now, I think it was last day I brought up the data was absolutely at the core foundation of um, the, this takeover, that data means everything. That we are fooled even into thinking that money um, and wealth regarding uh, homes, cars, all of those things and above businesses, um, that, that was the wealth. The wealth was, for those in the know, um, data. Data was going to and is taking over the monetary system as we know it. Again, I want at least a year and a bit ago, probably more or less when I started this channel, that the banking tricks that were going on behind our backs were going to astonish people that it was going to be introduced slowly but surely, you know, through all of the um, propaganda, the ups and downs of uh, the likes of Bitcoin and, and the mining that way. So again, they're just transitioning us into another stage, another type of existence. Now, transition into other types of existence it doesn't have to be a bad thing. Change can be both good and bad. But for too long, we allow um, the few to decide upon the direction of, of that change, um, what fruit will be there at the end of it all. And that's got to stop. Seriously, it's got to stop. I've got this overwhelming feeling. Again, anybody who's followed me knows I've gone on about DNA being the holy grail, that there was so much for them to find in DNA and the breakthroughs that they have had with the likes of CRISPR and all of those things or, or, or would be Hitler's wet dream in that they have managed to unlock so many secrets within the DNA of us. And so this is a holy grail for them for now. And it's been a journey that they have delved right into. And so as we transition through this change, you can guarantee that you're going to see things like um, love being changed in that, um, you know, love is one of the main things that has been the uh, a mainstay in this reality in that, no matter how bad things are, love is found in different places and shown in different ways, but is very much at the core of beautiful, organic creation. You create things out of love that are, that are beautiful, that are of your greatness, that reflect you. You're in a good relationship and you show love in, in a way that is balanced and whole, then you're going to have those fruits of that relationship in that it is long lasting or that it is super fun or that it is super relaxing or all of those things and more. We're gonna to start to see as they've managed to make people colder. I don't know if you picked up on that, but the, the sense when you're around um, a lot of the many, this cold sense. Now I wanna take your um, mind back and this is just a rambling of psychic thought visions and just on the spot talking, uh, so bear with me, but I want to take your mind back to me really being drawn to the fact that these things, these special infusions had to be cold. Uh, they put a lot out there that cold, 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 got to be cold again, and the supercomputer needing to be cold, um, that this is very much, um, and you're feeling that uh, either physically or energetically when you're around a lot of the many that, that have um, gone along with this narrative. And so this cold sense, it has been changing love in of itself in that people have found that loved ones have changed or people have found that the um, disagreement, the, the, the division that's been put amongst people um, is too much. It's finally divided relationships that most people would 
never have guessed if anybody had told them three years ago would be divided, but, but they are. And so the changing look and at the core of it is, is in the changing of DNA. And you're going to see in the um, future, I don't know how near future, but you are going to see the data being put to use in ways that are so unbelievable. Yet the collective will walk into it. I'm sorry, but that's how it's looking right now. We'll walk into it freely without too much trouble. And those on the sidelines will need to find ways to survive it and thrive in it. We can't just give up this life to sorrow and and fighting and battle. But at the same time, you're going to see love being changed in that it becomes a lot more clinical. That that human factor, so to speak, for want of better words, the human factor of love that it can be so spontaneous, people you would never guess falling in love with one another, such different types of personalities, seeing and feeling something that gives them that fire for each other and that passion for each other that, that um, could run us over feeling. And they can look like the oddest couple, but the happiest couple. Love is spontaneous, it is undefinable, it is changeable, it, it is a lovely thing. And so this love that is being changed dramatically at the DNA level, you're going to start to see them make money out of that. They have divvied up this data like it is between these technocrats, like it is um, the most expensive diamond. That's where we are sort of concentrating on the new systems that they're bringing in, i.e. the ether type coin, um, this invisible coin. Well, um, we've been distracted with that. They have been getting on, um, like that duck out of Walt Disney that used to jump into his gold coin. It, or was it Warner Brothers? One of the two. It's like that. I can feel them. I can see them. They've been divvying up this data like it's the best thing they've ever found. And part of that will be that businesses like um, the dating businesses, the websites that, that do dating, targeted advertisement will be that they will couple you with um, the right matched DNA. Of course, with all of the other predictions that are put out about the sterilization that was coming, seems to be here, um, that this will be that people will be desperate to procreate. And so again, they'll make money off of being able to, within that same company, offer the IVF treatment to um, clinically um, give you better results for a pregnancy. This will be after about three years of sterility of numbers dropping dramatically. And so this is where we are at. We are even changing love. And so I see this, I see this very, very clearly as far as the divvying up of data and the various different business endeavors that that will open up. And Unfortunately, many won't see it or feel it happening because it is incremental. And of course, referring to my video uh, yesterday, it is ritualistic hypnotizing. And so this is where um, they've been hypnotized and they'll walk happily into this new utopia um, of ease of life. Of Well, I want to say as well, it seems that throughout history, if you want to call it that, but with, without knowing, that ease of life doesn't do humans like too much ease of life, an imbalance of, of not being able to go and work for something or be active to do something actually doesn't do humans much good at all. We seem to get into a lot of trouble uh, collectively and individually. Um, devil makes work for idle hands kind of thing. So they're walking to this ease of life so happily. And um, this is this is where your, your data, when people like myself and others were warning that the data is so valuable that it is a system outside of the system that we know that has been rumbling on in the background for a long, long time now. And they are nearly at the point to really ritualize and that flawless work. So on the other hand, there will be um, more nefarious things going on behind these so-called fantastic new ways of dating, etc. Fantastic new ways of co-creating, etc. And this will be 
there is a continual, continued um, endeavor to unlock more and more of our DNA. And so, you know, they're playing God, and this is um, their dream moment. You know, unfortunately, we're not causing them much friction at all uh, in, in, in them getting there. And so, you know, it is just to be observant of it and also um, covet love. For those of you who feel love from others and give love to others, for those of you who um, want to fall in love, for those of you who have the wisdom to love yourself, covet that and speak to love as an energy each day and make sure that you maintain that ability to show the or organic types of loves that we have come to know and love and um, you know put it out there make sure you keep injecting that um, around all of the people injecting her <laughs> I, I think um, around all of the people that you are with that you know that you speak to um, that you're in contact with but most of all keep doing it showing doing things to show yourself that love doing things to show yourself that um reverence and uh, because it's something that we won't know exactly how powerful and a lot of us do know how powerful i know but we won't know as a collective how powerful um love really is in general until it's gone and when it's gone i feel that this reality will go very cold and very dark and uh, this is this is where we are at so show that love, be that love, you are that love. And uh, much love, balance, and wholeness. Thank you for hanging out with me, listening, sharing really helps. And you know what? Thank you to the awesome people that have been donating to me. Um, you blow me away. And I've got to be honest, you've really, really helped, uh, which is absolutely um a blessing and a gift from you and I send it back to all of you with abundant love and uh, manifestation for greatness in your life because I really do